Hey there, it's Elizabeth. I hope y'all are doing well. Today I'm doing another kind of video. I don't normally do this, but I thought I would try. <laughs> I'll give it a try. Um, that I am working in my brand new Mrs. Nichols book that I got from Brooke on Recreations by Brooke. So, I was inspired this morning. Let me tell you, I have been working on this thing like all day, all day. I'm thinking too much. I think that's the problem. Okay. This is what inspired me this morning. Okay. This is a beautiful watercolor done by a dear Facebook friend of mine. And she had the verse on here. And so when I saw it this morning, I, I always fall in love with her watercolor paintings they're just gorgeous and so I did ask her permission if I could use it in my book print it out and use it in my book now when I first saw it this morning I thought instantly here's the chair sorry I thought instantly of my sunshine okay and it just brought back so many memories because I used to sing a song called as the deer to my children and more specifically to my son and so I thought, let us create a page, okay? I really want to get into this type of journaling, but as you can see, I'm slightly, uh, I don't know, I guess like a perfectionist kind of. It is so hard for me to just, you know, like throw things on a page and all of that, and I don't know. Okay, so we're just going to get started, okay? So what I did here is I went online and I found the actual sheet music to the song As the Deer. And uh, yeah, so I am going to go ahead and use my stinky glue and I'm gonna paint, I'm going to glue it right on top of this page right here, okay? And I put a little notch in it because I'm going to use it as a pocket, okay? So let's just go for it, shall we? I'm telling you guys, this is like scary moments for me, okay? Because I don't do this. <laughs> this is not how I journal, but I am so in love with this type of journaling, okay? And I am just like so determined to do it if it kills me, okay? I probably shouldn't be gluing this on my son's picture, so let me just, sorry, I know this is like off camera, but okay using the stinky glue, the Fabri-Tac. Okay, so there, I think it's all glued up. All right, so we're just gonna take it and we're gonna glue it. Okay, and we're gonna hold it down a little bit. Okay, press it down. Maybe I'll add some washi or something. Yeah, so anyhow, when I saw this photo this morning, oh my goodness, I just remembered when my kids were younger and um, you know, we would have a nighttime routine, you know, every night we would go in, uh, I would go into their room, uh, my husband as well, and we would let them pick two books. I'm gonna really attempt to work and do at the same time. Okay, so a lot of this stuff I've already pre-done Okay, so I put, I, I did stamp trust in the Lord. I printed this out actually on photo paper. Um, this, these are just pictures I found from a magazine because it had a deer and it had a stream. Okay, and here's my beautiful son. So anyhow, um, let me remove all of this. Okay, this is how the page looked originally. Okay, so um, what was I telling you? It's gonna be really difficult for me to work and walk and chew at the same time, but I'm gonna to try to do it. Okay, so yeah, it just like, it brought back these wonderful memories when my kids were little, little bitty bumpkins. And you know, we had this nighttime routine. So we would uh, go into their room and you know, like they could each pick out two, um, how do I do this? Oh, I, this is the first time I'm ever doing something like this, guys, so please be patient. I don't know how long this video is gonna be. Um, so yeah, we would um, we would go, and I've gotta stop saying um, because that is like one of my biggest pet peeves. 
when I watch videos is hearing um, um, every other word. Okay, so we would go into their room and we would allow them to pick out two books a piece. I think it was two books a piece, two reading books a piece. And then we would allow them to each pick a Bible story that usually my husband would read to them out of a little children's Bible. And then, mm, what would we do next? I think I would sing to them next. So I used to sing to them and uh, one of the songs that, you know, I would sing to my son was As the Deer. And the memory <laughs> of his sweet innocence back then when he was just a little bitty gem, uh, it was just so precious because As the Deer is a song from church and it is obviously about the Lord Jesus. And so my son, as I would sing it to him all the time, I would sing this verse, I want you more than gold or silver. Only you can satisfy. You alone are the real joy giver and the apple of my eye. Well, of course, being the child that he was, he thought that I was singing the song about him. And why wouldn't he, you know? <laughs> He's a self-centered little gem, you know, cause that's what kids do when they're young. And so he thought he was like crushed when I told him that the song was about Jesus, not about him. And <laughs> oh, the poor thing, you know, you should have seen him. He was crushed. He was crushed that I wasn't singing about him, you know, but I did reassure him that he was the apple of my eye. And I did love him very, very much. And still do. And so, then, sorry if I'm doing this off camera. I am just using this. Um, so then, oh, there with the M's. Okay, so, I think this is going to go, I wanted to cover up right here, uh, this word beau, obviously, this is in French, which means like, um, in French, it would mean beautiful. And... But here in my redneck part of the woods, you know, beau, <laughs> B-E-A-U, means sweetheart. It's your sweetheart, you know? And so I have called my son, I, I call him Sunshine, y'all know that. His name, you heard it here first maybe, is actually Camden. It's a Scottish name, and I love his name. But I do call him Bo. Uh not as often as I used to, but yeah, I call him Bo when I'm, you know, if I'm calling him like down the hallway or something, I'll say Bo, you know, to get his attention. I've, I've called him that for a very long time. So let's see. I think I want to put this here. I wanted to put this up here. I don't want to obscure that. Okay. So, and I think I had this picture here. This picture here. Okay, I'm just trying to see like where I need to put stuff. Okay, so this can go down at the bottom. Okay, yeah. So anyhow, that's what this, just this one picture conjured up for me this morning. And I've been working and my brain has been clicking and I've been printing and all kinds of fun stuff. Now this song here, I told you I found it online and then I simply photocopied it onto a tea dyed paper of mine or coffee stained or whatever it is, I don't know. And I thought, uh, today I am determined to work in Miss Nichols. Oh, but let me tell you guys, this is quite difficult for me. And I've determined too that this book is going to be, a, you know, a memory book, honestly. If something uh, comes to my attention during the day, like for instance, this beautiful watercolor that my beautiful friend did. That if if that sparks some kind of memory, some something you know in me, that's what I'm going to use this book for. That's what I've determined. So that's what happened today, and I have been I have been working on this like all day long. <laughs> So I thought, let me just sit here while I am actually pasting stuff in. Let's see where this went. Okay. While I'm actually pasting stuff in 
and let's get you guys involved because why not, you know? Okay, I think I wanted to put that here. See, I, I'm I'm very I I put way too much thought into this. <laughs> Where like most people, let me. Where's my glue stick? Okay, most people, they just it it appears in their videos. Okay, I'm sure that they have their own thought process and their own you know way of doing things. Uh, I almost said um, but. I swear, you guys, they make it look as easy as pie, okay? Have y'all ever made a pie? Okay, it's not easy, right? Just saying, okay? All of like the, um, you know, this kind of stuff right here. Uh, let's see, I think I want this under the Rick Rack, so I'm going to scoot it, scoot it, scoot it, scoot it, scoot. Oh my gosh. See, I talk to my papers, I talk to myself, I just am a spaz. Okay. All right. I think, I don't know. Gosh. All right. See, this is why I wanted to kind of, you know, do this on camera to force me to hopefully not think too much about stuff. But as you can see, it's not working very well. Okay, so this I'm going to put over here and I need uh, my score tape, which is this, to hold it down a little bit. Oh, golly day, I just stuck that right into glue. Oh, see, you're going to just get it all. You're going to get it all, okay, because that's just, that's just me because I'm a spaz. Okay, so let's put this here. Good grief. This is why, guys, this is precisely why I do not do these kind of videos <laughs> because I rather don't like to look like a complete moron on camera. I'd like y'all to just live in your fantasy world thinking that I'm, you know, perfect. <laughs> not that you guys think that, I'm sure. This is just, and I've, I mean, I don't know how many times I've said it now. This is such a challenge for me. Like, I'm not good at this stuff. I'm not good at this stuff. And you know, you know how you are. If, if you're not good at something or you feel, I should say that. If you, if, you, if you feel like you're not good at something or you're not, you know, confident in doing something, you know, you're not going to do it. But I'm, I'm determined. I'm just determined. And I just had this wonderful just reminiscent kind of reminiscing however you want to say it morning of thinking about my beautiful son and this song and me singing it to him in fact i sang it so many times to him that he memorized it and then i'm going to what am i gonna do okay i'm gonna use a different kind of glue then um, there we go with the, um, I sang it to him so often, of course, that he memorized the words. And when he was, I don't even know how old he was, nine, maybe we had a homeschool talent night. And can I tell you that boy got up there on stage all by himself and sang the song a cappella. And he did such a beautiful job. Oh my goodness, there was not a dry eye in the entire sanctuary. He did such a fabulous job. And this is actually, I mean, it is so totally a horrible picture without the glare. There he is, and I'll have to look up the year and write it in later, but there he is singing a cappella as the deer. And it was beautiful. It was just beautiful. And like all the moms were crying. And of course, you know, I needed a bucket load of tissues and all of that fun stuff. But, oh gosh, yeah. So I spent all morning this morning designing this page in my brain. I wanted to turn this into a pocket because what I'm going to put in this pocket here is actually this right here which is his graduation announcement from high school but and it, this is obviously not about high school but it is about him and so I am going to keep that 
in this pocket here. Okay. And then I do want to glue this right here on the side to keep as a memory. Oh no, wait, I want to move it down so that I'm not covering up any of the words. I really hope I'm in frame. Good grief. I'm probably going through like this whole video and you can't even see anything. Okay. Anyhow, I think I'm going to use the stinky glue for this, I think. This was actually, oh, I have the date on it in the back, but this was actually in 2004. I don't know how old he was. Um, he was young. He was six or seven. And when he did the talent show. And my son is uh, very, you know, musically inclined. He's always loved music. I'd like to think it was because I sang to him, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, singing was a very big part of our lives when the kids were younger. Not only, um, you know, did I sing to them each night before they went to bed, but my husband used to sing to them all the time as well. And he, they would get their little baby blankets and we had an outdoor swing out the back patio and they would climb up in the swing and he would sing old gospel hymns to them. And my kids still remember it, you know, to this day is a very fond memory of theirs. Maybe one day in this book, I'll write about that as well. And so, yeah, my son, here's another picture of him, my sweet sunshine. This was back in, in 07. Let me just even see if you can see that without a glare. Look at him there. He's so handsome. Oh my goodness. Yeah, this was his very first piano recital. And uh, yeah, my son used to play, he doesn't play the piano now, but he could, if, if he wanted to learn, he could continue on. He, he actually plays by ear. And so when he stopped playing piano, he stopped because there was, he had to switch teachers and the new teacher was actually just quite harsh with him. My son never learned to read music. I'm putting this picture in this pocket as well. I'll just leave it right there, like a little tuck there. Cause see, I put like a, a piece of fabric on there. So I'll just stick that in there. And yeah, so let me try to work while I'm talking here. Yeah, so he had to switch teachers and when he ended up getting hit this new teacher, she was a bit harsh, you know, cause he never, he always played by ear. So his old teachers, like they would just have to play the, the song and he would watch their hand movements, their finger movements, and he would listen. And then he would sit down and after a few tries, he would play the song. You know, some people see that as a gift. Apparently this teacher saw it as something horrible and she was like you can't read music you know so it, it was bad and he never that from that day forward he said i will never play piano again isn't that terrible well that 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 just took a whole turn for the worse right there okay let's get off that and let's get back on to this beautiful painting reminding me of my handsome sunshine <laughs> he does play he plays um the guitar now the electric guitar he he doesn't have an acoustic guitar, but he plays the electric guitar and he plays uh, the bass. He has a bass guitar and he sings. To this day, he still enjoys singing. So if he's in his room and we're out in the living room, he, he'll just start singing. You know, he sings in the shower. He sings. He sings all the time. And I love it. And every time I hear him down the hallway, I just smile to myself because I just, I love, I love hearing him sing. I, I always have. And he enjoys it very much. Unfortunately, he never really, um, got into like continuing singing or, or doing it, you know, like he doesn't, he's never, he has never sung in public and he probably never would. He doesn't realize how great his voice is. <laughs> Well, he sang that one time in public, you know, over here when he sang his As the Deer in front of probably a hundred people or more. So anyhow, oh my goodness. So yeah, so this has just been so much fun to work in. 
so far after I've spent all day planning it, which I really should not have done because that's not how to do this. You should just do it, just stick it on there, right? So anyhow, there, it's finished. I might add more stuff. I probably will, like maybe scribbles or more words to it. I did put this little sunshine here because that is also what I refer to my son as. He is my sunshine and he's also my beau. And then, yeah, I thought this was um, a fun idea, you know, to photocopy the lyrics and the sheet music onto a piece of coffee dyed paper and just make this whole page here into a little pocket, you know, where I could put some extra photos and, you know, his um, graduation announcement from a few years ago. And then this is what I did as well. Uh, this is also photocopied on coffee dyed paper. And so what I did, which was just more simple to me to write it out uh, or to type it on my computer. I'm just much better about putting my feelings, my thoughts on the computer, typing it out on the computer rather than writing it out. So there were a lot of things I wanted to go over, such as, you know, how this photo, this simple photo right here, this beautiful, beautiful piece of artwork just conjured up this wonderful memory for me. Um, yeah, so then I just wrote about it here and I will take this here and I will fold it up and I will stick it in this pocket with everything else, hopefully. Let's get in there, shall we? Okay, yeah. So it doesn't fit sideways, that's okay. And you know what, I'm okay with it sticking out like that or let's see what I can do here. Yeah, that's fine. I'll just fold it this way, right? So there we have it. So I have a little pocket here with my like hidden journaling, not that it needs to be hidden. Okay, and there we have it, there's the spread. There's my son, it's a bad picture because this was when, you know, before digital cameras obviously, um, made this page right here into a pocket and just, I'm trying to peel off this piece of glue here, sorry. And just simply from this one photo that I saw this morning, it just, it reminded me of my sunshine. So I wanted to do a page talking about how he loves to sing, talking about, you know, when he was younger and I would sing to him every night before he went to bed. And I always sang this song and how he got up in front of, you know, a hundred or more people and sang the song as the deer acapella so yeah it just reminded me of so many fond memories so I wanted to do it in this book and so there you have it I mean I'm sorry if this video took forever I'm sure I'm not done with this page I'm going to you know add bits and pieces and more and and I think that's really the idea of these kinds of books is that you know you I might look back at this one day and say oh you know what I could put this on there or I could put that on there and add to the page or, or put a little bit more washi tape or stamp something or do something like that. And so we'll see, you know, if it ever actually gets finished. But like I said, I think that's the idea of these types of books is that you just, you know, you go through it and you do your spreads and you might work on a bit of a page at some point and then you would, you know, go to another page and work on that. And it's not in any particular order. Uh, so yeah, I, I'll probably maybe date it somewhere as to the date that I actually did it like today, you know, I'll put the date, maybe a date stamp down here, but that's about it. And then otherwise, yeah, I might, like I said, I might add some other things in here. Um, you know, maybe some, a tab or tag or writing or scribbling or, you know, some borders on, on some of the things, you know, who knows, who knows? The point is, is that I can always go back and add to it if I feel like it, but I love this right here. I'm, I love this pocket of the whole song itself. And I love the idea of photocopying it onto coffee dyed paper. So anywho, I know this was, uh, yeah, this was my first time doing this, so 
<laughs> Sorry, forgive me. But I'm going to keep at it. I'm going to keep at it and I'm going to keep going. And sorry for the glare there. And oh, there's just glare everywhere. I can't help it. So I hope you enjoyed this. I really do. I don't know if I'll ever do another video like this again. If I can somehow figure out how to do the video, speed it up and do a voiceover, I will do. I will attempt to learn how to do that. But I hope you enjoyed this anyway. And I wanted you guys to see that I am starting to work in Mrs. Nichols' book and I really enjoyed doing it. So uh, yeah, until next time, I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll talk to you later. Bye.